Welcome back to my New York Giants franchise. Last time, though, we sadly lost to the Chicago Bears 34-20. We couldn't get much going, and we also had a really hard time stopping their offense. But if you guys are new to the channel, and if you like watching Madden 21 franchise content, I would definitely appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, and if you're looking forward to this series, I would very much appreciate it if you could show your support by hitting that like button down below. But to start this episode, I'm going to hop into free agency. I just took a brief look just like five seconds ago and i know of one player i certainly want to sign it's going to be josh rosen josh rosen has made it into free agency he's a 67 overall he's still very young as well i want him to be the backup quarterback he's not going to really play all that much unless daniel jones gets hurt but he is much better um, and then Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy is only a 62 overall. I'm not going to release him because it doesn't really make too much sense. We're going to leave him as the third option, but Josh Rosen is definitely going to be the backup quarterback. I'm actually going to go through free agency a little bit more just to see if there's any other positions um, I want to take. Like I'm potentially looking at receiver, looking at linebacker now because I don't really want David Mayo playing all that much. Uh, the best receiver is Josh Bellamy, Trey Quinn, Richie James Jr., Isaiah Ford. These guys are all pretty decent. Um, but I definitely don't want them because, you know, I do have Jacoby Myers on the practice squad. I saw a comment on uh, one of my videos recently, and it was like, imagine being one of those practice squad receivers. And, you know, the team goes out and signs some other random receivers to start above you. Because, like, I signed, like, two receivers after I threw a few guys on my practice squad. So it was just kind of funny um, in that regard. But anyway, middle linebacker, really no one here who I am interested in. Uh, there are some rookies, like maybe somebody who's like really fast, but even then they're so bad <laughs> overall wise. Noah Dawkins has 90 speed and 90 acceleration. Okay, interesting player. I don't think I'm going to go ahead and sign him. Um, but yeah, I don't really think I'm going to go after anyone here then. There really aren't many like even decent players down here. Miles Killerbury moved down to linebacker. I didn't know that. So I think I'm good with where the team is at at the moment. We do have to cut somebody or move someone to the practice squad. Um, let's see who they suggest I release. Sometimes it's like a starter and it makes no sense. Okay, so it's this cornerback. I will cut you. You're only a 60 overall. That's fine. We can actually get started with the draft, though. There are actually no draft stories right now. Kind of upsetting. But I definitely want to talk about this. So if you guys watched my franchise series in Madden 20, you should know that I named players I drafted after viewers. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing again. I usually just pick uh, the names of these players from the comments. So if your YouTube name is not your name or not the name you want me to choose uh, for the player, you can either comment your name or you can reach out to me on like Twitter or Discord if you'd rather keep it private and message me that way uh, with the name you'd like me to choose if I end up picking you. So it's fairly random. I normally just kind of go through the comments and just pick players uh, right after I'm done drafting. But anyway, let's just take a quick look at the draft class. The main position I want this year is linebacker, and that is for sure. So there's not one good linebacker here in the first round. Maybe some guys later. Anthony Basti looks like a pretty interesting player. He's only 5'11". Hopefully he's really fast though. Greg Tompkins looks like a really good player as well. Six foot two. I'm going to throw him on my draft board, but those are all of the scouting points I have to spend for this week. I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. If you want to be entered into the raffle of like player names I'm going to choose from, if you, you know, continue to comment, it'll up your chances of being named a player. But I think that's just a cool way to integrate you guys into the series just a little bit more. I really enjoyed doing it last year. It was fun seeing you guys make plays. So we're going to be doing it here once again. I'm probably going to have another franchise mode down the line. It'll be more of a relocation franchise. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that just yet, but the same thing will happen there. I'll name um, players after you guys. But I think now we can potentially bring back some players. Leonard Williams is the top free agent. And now I really don't know if I want Leonard Williams back on the team. He's 26 years old. So he doesn't really have too much more room to grow. We probably could replace him in the draft. He's not a bad player at all, though. He wants a two-year contract. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Let's see if he accepts this right off the rip. If he does, I'm good with this contract. He does not want to accept that. I don't really want to give him that much more, though. Dalvin Tomlinson is also here. Another player who I feel like I can replace, just because he's an 80 overall. He's not like a crazy high overall right now. He's 26 years old, still fairly young, but again, he's really not going to progress that much more than this. Let's see if we can bring this contract a little bit down. See if he wants this for two more years. He only likes the length of the contract. I don't know if we're going to bring both of these guys back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Uh, Graham Gano, I wouldn't mind bringing him back to the team. He's still a really good kicker. We're going to have Marcus Golden and Kyler Fackrell, who I probably won't retain. Deion Lewis, same thing to him. Donald Penn, I don't think I'm going to bring back. There are a lot of players down here who I don't think I am going to bring back. Maybe only a handful um, down there. But I do think now we can get into the upgrades. 
because I did not upgrade last time. We have a few points. O'Shane Zimenez, Corey Ballantyne, uh, Dalen Mack, and Marcus Golden each have an experience point. So O'Shane Zimenez, I definitely want him becoming a better pass rusher. 66 block shed, 76 finesse moves, 69 power moves. I want to get his block shed up as much as I can. I'm just going to go with the speed rusher. Let's just make him a 73 overall. See what this gets up. Awareness, finesse move, and tackling. No block shed upgrade. Kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. Marcus Golden, I'm going to spend his experience point and then auto upgrade the rest of these guys. Um, so speed rusher is the scheme fit, but I don't really care that much. We're just going to go into power rusher for him. He's going to be a 78 overall. Um, but there's another reason why I don't really want him on the team. If you look up there, 26,000 experience for him to go up one overall point or just to get an experience point. So it takes forever to progress these older players. So moving on from him at some point, I think is going to be the wise option. But now we have to get ready for um, this game against the 2-0 San Francisco 49ers. This is not going to be an easy game. The 49ers are a great team. Let's go ahead and point out some key position groups on their roster. These are actually two really big injuries. Tevin Coleman and Jarek McKinnon are both out. So it's going to be Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson Jr. as the running backs. Raheem Mostert is a good running back, 95 speed, um, 94 acceleration. He is going to run all over us today, I can imagine. Um, but the best player on this offensive side, George Kittle, hands down, 98 overall, one of the best tight ends in football. I personally think he is the best, but Travis Kelsey is not far behind him at all. But anyway, 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 94 awareness, 98 catching, ridiculous route running ability. He also has incredibly good run blocking. He's one of the better blocking tight ends in the NFL as well. 79 run blocking, 60 pass blocking. Not bad numbers at all uh, for a tight end. George Kittle is ridiculous. He's a superstar X factor. We certainly have to know where he is at all times. He is going to give us a lot of trouble. This team already struggles uh, to cover tight ends, and now we have to go up against arguably the best tight end in the entire NFL. They also recently acquired Trent Williams, 93 overall for him, one of the better tackles in football, um, superstar development as well. He is incredibly good. I don't really expect our defensive lineman to really get through him all that easily. Of course, they have Nick Bosa on this right side. He's a superstar X Factor, 90 overall. Um, he is an incredibly good player as well. Uh, Nick Bosa is going to give our tackles a ton of trouble today. Hopefully Danny Dimes does not get injured. Also still in the defensive line, let's talk about rookie Javon Kinlaw. 78 overall for him out of South Carolina. He's a really solid player. I'm sure he has hidden development trait. Uh, yeah, he does. He's just over halfway of getting his development revealed. He should be a menace up the middle against us. I really don't anticipate having too much success running the football they have a really really solid defensive line and then moving on to the the linebackers fred warner at middle linebacker 88 overall only 23 years old one of the better young linebackers in the nfl today superstar development he is ridiculously good he is going to give us so much trouble i can't pass the ball across the middle of the field or else he will most likely pick it off or you know force some kind of fumble because that's just what it's like playing against really good linebackers in this game on to the secondary richard sherman is this team's number one cornerback 91 overall overall superstar X factor. I really can't target him. He'll have so many interceptions if I throw the ball anywhere near him. So I'm going to do my best to stay away uh, from Richard Sherman's side of the field. Those are all the positions I wanted to point out. There were a few more I could have mentioned because the 49ers have an incredibly good team. Of course, they were just in the Super Bowl. They have a really good roster. Let's hop into this game and let's see how we can do. I'm not really expecting the most against the uh, 49ers. This defense is going to give us so much trouble. All right, so the game is now underway. Corey Ballantyne receiving the kick just out of the end zone. Kyle Juszczyk, I think, is actually making that tackle. Nice to see the fullback there hustling. Uh, but we have the ball at the 20. 26 yard line let's start out on offense probably running the football here with Saquon I'm trying to get him involved early but this is not going to be an easy game for him whatsoever he struggled a little bit against the Bears last week and you know fair to them they have a really good front seven too but this 49ers team is insane let's run the ball here good blocking actually Saquon is going to get to that next level pick up seven yards really solid start to the day that was Jaquaski Tart on the tackle one of their safeties. Second down and three. Let's try some slants. I think we're going to have circle. I said not to throw it to Richard Sherman, but it's okay. Darius Slayton is going to make the catch. Richard Sherman, I was playing a bit off there, so I was comfortable throwing that pass. I do not want to run slants again. Let's audible to a run play. Saquon Barkley up the middle. What can he do? I should not have cut back. That's completely on me, but at least he picks up a couple yards. Darius Slayton is being pressed on this left side, and it's not by Richard Sherman, so I'm very tempted to take this. I'm going to throw it up to him. That's into double coverage. The safety came over. He's going to make the play too. 
Not a great throw by Danny Dimes. Not a good decision as well. I thought that Danny Dimes would throw it, you know, to a point in the field where Jimmy Ward couldn't make a play. That's on me, though. I shouldn't have even tried that one. I gotta not take, like, one-on-one -on -one shots. I keep forgetting to change Kyler Fackrell out of the starting and middle linebacker position. I really need to remember to do that. <laughs> Kyler Fackrell was just covering George Kittle, and he did it fairly well. What was that? All right, well, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to complete his first pass. We didn't really get a chance to talk about him. Of course, Jimmy Garoppolo, not a bad quarterback. He's not, like, insanely good either, but he'll probably be able to do perfectly fine against us. That is going to be a good pass, though, to Debo Samuel for that first down. Debo Samuel is also a really good player. He's excellent after the catch. So when he gets the football, we have to make sure we wrap up, but it's not that easy to do. Raheem Mostert taking that ball up the middle, picks up a couple yards. Um, I definitely think I forgot to talk to our offensive coordinator about George Kittle. I always forget about those. They're just not really that, like, important. <laughs> so I always just completely forget about it. Uh, but George Kittle, of course, we have to keep him in mind. This team's highest overall player for a reason. He's insane. Can we get any kind of pressure? No, our entire offensive line was on the ground. I meant to say defensive line was on the ground, and that got completed. I don't understand that one. Let me just take another look at this pass rush. What happened? Literally three guys get pancaked at one time? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is this, man? And that gets completed. I'm just saying 100% that gets dropped if I throw that, but whatever. Let's not, you know, start complaining. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to do that the rest of the game. Um, first down and 10. Let's just make a good play. Come on, boys. Lorenzo Carter, you're massive. Do something here across the middle. Definitely watching George Kittle. He's not going to catch that. It's probably going to the slant. Never mind. It's going into the flats. Debo Samuel comes down with it out of bounds. That's going to be a great tackle for loss there for Lorenzo Carter. Raheem Mostert going nowhere. I want to mention this as well. I read a couple comments of people suggesting I go ahead and trade for like a different middle linebacker, a different receiver, a different corner. It's not that I don't want to do that. I was just looking through the team and there's not really too much trade value for me right now. I don't necessarily want to get rid of any starters. And that's actually an excellent pass breakup. But I don't really want to get rid of any starters. And I don't really have too much depth at some of these positions to really trade. So I feel like we might have to just wait for the offseason to replace some of these guys. I was also asked to go out and get a different quarterback. Like trade for a different quarterback. So that's why I just signed Josh Rosen. I didn't really see any quarterback I necessarily wanted to trade for. I'm just glad that I was able to find one at least in free agency. But they take the lead. 3 to nothing. Also a flag. Could be holding. Um, but I'm pretty sure the last two games, the team who won... Ended up kicking a field goal and going up 3-0 at the beginning of the game. So, hopefully that doesn't happen again. But Elijah Penny is going to be flagged. Okay, well, first down and 10. Let's just not throw any more interceptions, man. That was a very preventable one, too. If I just didn't throw that pass. I think we're going to have square. We do not have square. I threw that a bit too late, I think. My fault. Okay, well, second down and 10. Let's see if we can run the football. Halfback slash. I'm actually going to move this to the left, I think. Can I do that? There we go. Saquon running to this left side now. There we go. Good blocking. Saquon is going to juke back inside a little bit and pick up a solid gain of about nine. Third down and one. We're going to go with some five wide. Sterling Shepard across the middle. Actually, no. Evan Ingram is going to not catch that pass because it's inaccurate. Danny Dimes got pressured. Quan Alexander gets the interception. That one isn't necessarily my fault, I don't think. Because Evan Ingram was open. That was just because of the pass rush there. That's super unfortunate. Players wide open in the flats. It's Raheem Mostert. He's going to break out of a tackle as well, but go down to the second defender. Blake Martinez will bring him down. First down and goal now at the eight-yard line. Not looking good here for this defense, but we didn't really give him a good opportunity. We threw that interception uh, with them having really good field position. That could potentially be a sack, but instead he's going to get the pass off. It's going to be a screen pass for a touchdown. I tried to come up and make the big hit, but it did not work. They're going to go up 10 to nothing, and this is not looking good early. Okay, I got to say, passing the ball... Very difficult at the moment. I'm going to try to streak Darius Slayton and throw Sterling Shepard on a slant. Let's see what happens on this play. I don't really like any, either of those guys. Go upfield. Okay, I'm actually just going to run this. Danny Dimes has that first down. Okay, I tried to play Maker X. Didn't really work. He reacted a little bit too late, but that's fine. We're going to pick up that first down with Daniel Jones on the ground. I really just need to get better at passing the football, man. It'll come throughout this season. Okay. Um, I've never really been that great passing the football. But running the football, I'm not horrible at. Let's see if we can get some yardage here. Saquon up the middle. There we go. Choosing the correct gap. He's going to almost pick up a first. And they're not going to give it to him. Okay, second down and one. I'm going to keep the ball on the ground once again. I feel like if we're going to beat this team, it's going to be on the ground. Just because of how this game has been going with me passing the ball so far. Saquon, though, up the middle. He's not going to pick up that much, but it's enough for the first down. He gets about three yards. 
Sterling Shepard across the middle is wide open. Nobody's really in front of him. There we go. That's going to be a first down. Finally, we get something going through the air. Before that pass, I had the same number of completions to our team as I did to their team, which is not a good sign at all. Uh, first down and 10, though. I don't really think Darius Slayton's going to get too open, so I'm not going to really look that way. I'm going to throw this one to Saquon instead. Run away from Fred Warner. Let's go Saquon Barkley with the burst to get to the outside. Great decision to run that way. Let's go Saquon Barkley is insane, man. All right, Deion Lewis straight up the middle. Come on, accelerate. No. He goes down to the two. I saw the touchdown in front of him. That's fine. They're not really playing the run that much, though. So I don't know how much I like this. Evan Ingram? Evan Ingram cannot make the play. No, it is going to be swatted down by Richard Sherman. I am so tempted to go for this, man. I don't think we get stopped again. I'm going for it. I'm going to be a bit risky here. Come on. At the two-yard line, I'm running the ball with Saquon. We can totally do this, boys. There we go. Saquon Barkley is going to pick up the touchdown. Okay. Let's go. That definitely paid off. Going for it on fourth down is going to result in a touchdown. 10-7 to is going to be the score now. Now, Raheem Mostert has a ton of space. No, we can't let this player get in the open field. He is so fast. Somebody catch up to him. Okay, thank you. We finally got there to him at the 17-yard line. But, man, four for 60 about for him. He's pretty much been bottled up until that run as well. We cannot let him get to the second level. He is such a fast player. Another run play here to Mostert. He's going to run that one straight up the middle. Really good decision on his end. I kind of got blocked to the outside there with, uh, I think I was on Lorenzo Carter. All right, well, second down and two. Try to use her as safety. Xavier McKinney. I think we're covering Jordan Reed on this play. It's going to be a run play. Xavier McKinney is going to try to get back there. He gets blocked, but it's okay. That's an excellent play there by Lorenzo Carter for the tackle for loss. Another run play. Number 30 is taking this one. We're going to bring him down. He's not going to pick up anything there, essentially. Fourth down and two. They're probably going to take the field goal, but I think I might anticipate a fake just in case they do not fake the field goal the kick is up and good 13 to 7 now for the 49ers that's gonna be pass interference to the outside let's go that's gonna be a huge penalty okay we'll take that every single time that's gonna be a solid start to the drive then let's go first down and 10 let's take this one to the outside saquon barkley has a ton of space i'm gonna try to juke a little bit nothing really happened he picked up seven yards though so he's off to a solid start today Let's see if we can go with some play action here. Second down and short. A pretty good time to call play action. I'm looking for Sterling Shepard here. Sterling Shepard's going to be very open. He has a ton of space as well, and the pass isn't there. Daniel Jones. Come on, man. I need you to make those throws. I definitely need that one to be completed. Well, we're going to run the ball with Saquon here up the middle. That's actually not a first down, I don't think. That's so close. Fourth down and inches, we're going for this. I'm not punting the ball. Elijah Penny should pretty easily have this first down. Fullback dive. Here we go. Elijah Penny got the first down and a bit more. Nice job. So Fred Warner is insane, by the way. <laughs> He's all over the place right now. Evan Ingram's going to be wide open. He's not wide open, but he was open enough for that catch. Danny Dimes cannot make the throw because, once again, the pressure got to him. Third down and 13. Um, let's look for Evan Ingram across the middle. He's pretty open. I don't know if he's going to pick up this first down, though. No, he can't even catch the ball. Okay. Man, Danny Dimes, 5 for 13 to start out this game. A few really inaccurate passes as well. Not a good start for him. I bit so hard on that. That is entirely on me. I'm so sorry. I was Jabril Peppers there, and I tried to come up because I really thought that was a run. That was an excellent play action. By Jimmy Garoppolo. And Kendrick Bourne has an 87-yard touchdown. That one is on me. Let's flip this around a little bit, see if we can potentially hit Saquon or Sterling Shepard. Sterling Shepard, I think, is going to catch that across the middle. There you go. I hope Saquon didn't get open. I stopped looking at him a little bit through that route when I didn't think he was uh, really going to be open in the end. He could have potentially gotten wide open at the end. That happens to me a lot, uh, but whatever. We picked up the first down. Saquon, let's run the ball to you. That player is going to get blocked excellently. There we go. That's going to be a first down. Uh, but Saquon's been like our entire offense so far. <laughs> and uh, that's probably going to happen in many of these games. I'm going to see if I can find uh, Sterling Shepard again. He was wide open on this play earlier. Danny Dimes just missed the throw. He might be open again. I think he's going to be open again. 
That's going to be caught. Oh my, what a catch by Sterling Shepard. That was not a good throw at all by Daniel Jones. But Sterling Shepard absolutely bailed out his quarterback. That probably should have been intercepted. Sterling Shepard, that was insane. Really good blocking by the offensive line. Saquon's going to run over a defender and pick up about 15. He picked up a little bit more than that. I think he got 17. Okay, man, come on. This offensive drive is exactly what we needed. Let's just put this one in the end zone. I'm going to go five wide. I have some confidence. That's probably going to get diminished really shortly after I throw an interception or something. <laughs> but that player is free completely. What happened? Will Hernandez, did you fall over? You good? Oh, yeah, that happened. He just leapfrogs this player. Javon Kinlaw. <laughs> what a play. Will Hernandez looking like a high schooler out there. What happened? <laughs> oh, man. I am not what you'd call a good player. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. Let's just see if we can hit Evan Ingram. Maybe he's open. Evan Ingram? Oh, my Lord. What was that? He was not open. Another bad throw. Dude, Danny Dimes cannot hit anything right now. But his receivers are absolutely doing everything for him. Look at this catch. Completely over Fred Warner. One of the better linebackers in this entire game. That was in double coverage too. What a catch, man. That was ridiculous by Evan Ingram. I'm so happy he and Saquon Barkley are on this team. And I guess Sterling Shepard. Because Sterling Shepard made a remarkable catch on this drive as well. But okay, second down and three now. Let's be on Lorenzo Carter. I feel like this is going to be a run play. It is going to be a run play, and it's going to be stopped for a very short gain. Raheem Mostert should be taken out of the game uh, because he is the best rushing yard number you can possibly have. <laughs> but third down and one. Let's see if we can make the stop. I'm expecting a run. I'm not going to bite too hard, though. It is going to be a run play, and that is a first down. But Raheem Mostert sucks now because he no longer has 69 yards. How do I not make that tackle? With Lorenzo Carter. I am spamming X the entire time I'm there. And I get no tackle animation. Instead, Raheem Mostert picks up a first down. I feel like that should have been a tackle for loss. Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm not going to question it, man. It's Madden. First down and 10. That is going to be open on the other side of the field. Well, not really the other side of the field. That was like midfield. Kendrick Bourne. Two for 102. <laughs> because he has that one touchdown. Oh, that player is wide open. That's Dante Pettis. Darnay Holmes got completely torched. I went with man coverage. It did not work. Okay. Well, there's a touchdown. Sterling Shepard is open again underneath. He's been a really solid possession receiver for us today. Really good in the slot. Okay. So I think he has like five catches or so. He's having definitely a really strong start to this game. I haven't really been able to find Darius Slayton at all today, though, which is kind of upsetting. I want to get him more involved, but I kind of just can't right now. Corey Coleman, though, is going to make that catch. Uh, let's call a timeout, actually. I want the team to relax a little bit. We have two more timeouts as well. I hit the share button again. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> um, but now it's going to be second down and two. We do have the option to run the ball if I'd like to, but I don't think I'd like to here. I'm going to look for Sterling Shepard here up the seam, potentially. Oh, he's not super open. Evan Ingram? No, it's a terrible throw. Yeah, it's getting picked off. That's going to be pick six as well. Oh, man. This game has been a nightmare for Danny Dimes. He cannot hit anyone. Do we throw in Josh Rosen? I don't know, man. He has three picks in this first half. Daniel Jones is not off to a good start. It's 34 to 14 in one half. This is going to be such a bad game. Unless we can make a ridiculous comeback. Um, but there's 46 seconds left. I'll give Danny Dimes the rest of this time. Actually, no. I'm going to throw in Josh Rosen for these 46 seconds. If he can muster up some kind of drive, maybe he starts the second half. So Josh Rosen did nothing here. <laughs> so I guess Danny Dimes will come back out in the uh, second half. This one should hopefully go to halftime 34-14. to 14. I hope they don't get any more points. But we're going to pump the ball back to him now. And let's see if we can make some kind of stop, I guess. They have about 20 seconds left as well. They really don't have too much time. If we tackle them inbounds, the half should pretty much end. Or it'll be very close to ending. Just going to watch George Kittle here mainly. He's not the target of that pass. It's going to be Raheem Mostert. That should be the end of the first half. Okay. So the first half is going to end 34 to 14. Not a good performance by either side of the football. Um, we're letting up way too many points. We're throwing way too many interceptions. So, you know, 
maybe something will change. Coach Rembush has uh, shown the team a couple episodes of the Bengals franchise on Madden 20, and maybe it's going to inspire them to play better. I don't know. Uh, but 34 to 14, boys. We need to make something happen here. Raheem Mostert getting the ball. He's going to be patient behind his offensive line and pick up that first down just about. Did he get it? He did not get it. So second down and one. Really good piece of running, though, from Raheem Mostert. I do think I'm going to put in Danny Dimes again. Maybe the threat of being benched will make him play a little bit better. <laughs> Probably not. This is going to make a weird screen pass. He's wide open, too. It's Debo Samuel after the catch. I mentioned this before. He's so good. He's not going to really make anyone miss there, but he does pick up the first down. Their offense has been flawless. They can seemingly do no wrong at the moment. We're going to blitz. They're going to run the ball. It shouldn't really work, and it doesn't really work. Picked up about two yards still. I'd like that to go for a loss, but it's fine. This team isn't that good. I can't really expect all that much, to be honest. Uh, that's kind of why I chose them. To be real, because, you know, I wanted a, a rebuild challenge. And the Giants definitely pose a challenge. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, though, getting the snap. That player is kind of open, but they're not going to throw it to him. It's going to be to Raheem Mostert, who I'm pretty certain picked up that first down. He did pick up the first down. Man, we cannot stop this team. Dude, they're running the ball so well today. Raheem Mostert can't do anything wrong. It is everywhere he decides to go. <laughs> he breaks like three tackles and always picks up something positive. It's ridiculous right now, man. Come on, second down and three past the ball. Give me a chance. I mean, I'm on Blake Martinez, so I don't really have too much of a chance. <laughs> but let's see what we can do. Pick this off, please. Let's go. Jabril Peppers is going to make the interception. No way we actually made a play. Jabril Peppers, what a beast. Let me put Danny Dimes back into the game now. See if he can get some kind of drive here. All right, Saquon Barkley is going to get to that next level. Get tackled from behind, but he picks up a first down. He is having a really solid game. See if we can hit Evan Ingram here potentially. If anything, I do have Corey Coleman underneath. But I'll look at Evan Ingram first. Evan Ingram is wide open across the middle. The throw is going to be there. Evan Ingram going down near the 30. That's getting picked off as well. Okay. Yep. <laughs> It's just one of those games. I also didn't tackle him somehow. I thought I ran forward enough. How did Jaquaski Tart know that was going across the middle? Like, come on. Watch how he plays this, man. This is man coverage. How do you cover this? Your back is completely turned to the quarterback. He recovers incredibly well there. That's so annoying, man. That should have been such a good completion. I don't know how you don't burn by him here, Evan Ingram. Not a terrible route in Ingram's end, but still, Jaquaski Tart, just ridiculous instincts. That's such a quick release. I hate that, man. How does George Kittle even know to look back at that point, dude? I feel like if I throw anything like that ever, it's going to get like picked off because someone's going to jump it. Oh, that was right where I was supposed to be. Okay, well, that's probably on me again. We are just getting absolutely stomped. Josh Rosen's coming in. We're going to see what he can do for the rest of the game here. Okay, so Daniel Jones cannot throw this route at all. He threw it once, and it was massively overthrown. He threw it a second time. It was thrown better, but it was still not a good throw, and the only reason it got you know completed was because Sterling Shepard made a ridiculous play. Let's try this play again, this time with Josh Rosen, and he puts it directly on the money. Josh Rosen, what a dot to Sterling Shepard. There's a gain of 23. Honestly, already looking a little bit better than Daniel Jones. Leonard Williams went down with an injury. We are losing our defensive linemen left and right. I don't want to sub him back in yet, though. This game's pretty much out of reach, um, so I don't want him getting injured in garbage time. That's, you know, pointless. So let's run the ball here with Saquon. He's going to juke back inside. What a nasty juke move. Kind of initiates a spin move as well. Okay, second down and four now after that one. See if we can get some drive into the end zone here. Looking at potentially Darius Slayton. I threw that one a triangle by mistake, but it actually kind of worked. So Levine Toy Lolo is going to pick up a little bit. Third down and inches. We should have this first down here to Saquon. I doubt he gets stopped, but let's see what happens. He's not going to get stopped. Saquon Barkley picking up that first down. There's Evan Ingram wide open. Let's go. He's going to accelerate by Fred Warner too. What a nice play by Evan Ingram, dude. He has been such a good player this entire season so far, man. I'm excited to see what he develops into. I think he's going to go up in development throughout the course of this series. He might even become an X-Factor one day. He is so good. 
But Saquon Barkley up the middle, already an X-Factor. He's going to pick up that first down. I should have ran that one more to the left, but it's all right. Uh, Kevin Zeitler is going down, holding his shoulder pad, holding his left shoulder pad. We cannot lose Kevin Zeitler. He's this team's best offensive lineman by quite the margin. That would be really bad if we lose him, actually. Levine Toy Lolo in the corner of the end zone. He's a big man, and that's getting one-handed intercepted. Amazing. He's, what a great, what a great time right now, man. Levine Toy Lolo. I thought he had the size advantage. Was that K1 Williams? Isn't he like 5'9? K1 Williams is 5'9. Um, just to put that into comparison, Levine Toy Lolo is 6'8. Levine Toy Lolo is roughly a foot taller than that defensive back. And that means nothing. The throw wasn't good. Can't really blame Levine Toy Lolo. But just throw it high, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you have that touchdown all day. That's nearly intercepted, though. That would have been huge. But you have that touchdown all day. That is absolutely a matchup you look out for. Levine Toy Lolo is a Goliath. Okay. You won him against a small cornerback like that, especially in the red zone, in the corner of the end zone. Whatever, I won't talk about it for too long. That's an excellent sack, though. Let's go. Dalvin Tomlinson trying to convince me to give him that contract extension. Okay, maybe we'll consider it, man. If you keep playing like this, maybe we will consider it. Uh, third down and 19, though. Let's make a play here. Xavier McKinney, please. Okay, George Kittle is open. I feel like he can pick up this first down, even though there are about seven Giants players facing him. I wouldn't have doubted him. <laughs> He's insane after the catch. All right, but sorry if this video is coming off a bit complainy. That's kind of the effect Madden has on franchise content creators. It's kind of difficult not to complain about some of the aspects of the gameplay. But whatever. Fourth down and six. Jabril Peppers is going to field this punt. I don't know if I'm going to keep him back here. He hasn't done anything crazy. He also hasn't done anything bad. Uh, Jabril Peppers is a pretty good punt returner. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm going to keep passing the ball. See if we can build some kind of scheme or strategy heading into this next week. See if I can find some plays that work. Make sure I point out some plays that do not work. That play doesn't work too well. At least to Saquon. Maybe somebody else was open. Let's see what your cannon's all about. Darius Slayton is open. And Darius Slayton's going to make that catch. What a bomb by Josh Rosen. Okay, hang on a second, dude. Josh Rosen is looking a little bit better than Daniel Jones. Aside from that horrible pass that resulted in an interception, he is looking kind of good. Not going to lie. See what we can do here in the red zone. Darius Slayton in the corner of the red zone. Darius Slayton is not going to catch that, but Sterling Shepard is. What? How does that get caught? What are you talking about? Wait, wait a second. Why couldn't that have been a touchdown? That would have been such a crazy touchdown. Not the best decision for me to throw this. I'm just kind of, you know, throwing jump ball plays just to see what my receivers are capable of at this point. This one gets swatted away directly into the hands of Sterling Shepard. I know it's not like the same circumstances, but this kind of reminds me of uh, the one play the Jaguars made. I don't remember who they were playing against, but I'm pretty certain it was a Hail Mary attempt with the game on the line. There was like no seconds left. And I don't remember who caught the pass, but I'm pretty certain a player like swatted the ball down directly into this Jaguars player and they caught it for the touchdown and ended up winning that game. That's what that reminded me of. Uh, of course, it did not result in a touchdown and it was not for the win, but you know, similar kind of. Um, similar enough, at least. You don't see plays like that all too often. But anyway, first down and goal. See if we can get this one out quickly to Sterling Shepard. He deserves that touchdown. Sterling Shepard is going to score that touchdown. There we go. Not a bad throw. Pretty good coverage, actually, by the Falcons. Falcons. 49ers. Um, but, you know, Josh Rosen just sneaks that ball in there. It was against the Texans. Yeah, so I typed in David Garrard, and the first thing that came up was David Garrard Hail Mary. That's probably the thing he's known most for, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but that was a pretty crazy play by the Jaguars back in the day. Um, but, yeah, anyway, we kind of recreated it. Not exactly. Not even really all that close. But, you know, first thing I thought of. 41-21. Uh, to 21 game's still not looking good but we might have a quarterback controversy going into this next week man I don't know who to start Daniel Jones was okay in some cases this season Josh Rosen's been pretty good I don't know man it's weird pretty small sample size here for Josh Rosen but like what if this is the team that revives his career you never know I don't really want to move on from Daniel Jones um, but I don't know. Just trying to create some storylines here, maybe. Dude, Marie Mostert cannot get tackled for a loss right now. This is insane. Every time I make any kind of good play, 
He just somehow has the awareness to completely avoid it. So much space. That could be a touchdown to him, too. Yeah, I think that's going to be a touchdown. He's protecting the ball as well, I think. And he scores that kind of touchdown. Ah, uh, this game. All Madden is a bit infuriating. Just just a little bit. But, you know, that's what, that's what you do when you're a Madden content creator. You complain about the game. It's in our contracts. I don't know if you guys know that, but every time... A new Madden game comes out. Each Madden content creator signs a contract that says they will only exclusively um, talk badly about the game. So, now I'm completely joking. But I do talk badly about the game. A lot of other content creators do too. But honestly, it's, it's mostly because like I want this game to succeed. I want Madden to be a really good game. But whenever I'm just like criticizing it a little bit, it's it's just just for the video, for the memes. Anyway, first down and ten. See what we can do here. I'm gonna throw it up again. That's a, not a good pass, uh, but Darius Slayton almost is a freak of nature and nearly came down with that one. Josh Rosen sort of has a noodle arm, so we can't really be doing that anymore. So does Daniel Jones, to be fair, at least in this game he does. Saquon's wide open on the screen pass, though. It took him a year and a half to accelerate. What was that? Dude, Saquon has some of the best acceleration in the NFL. Why did it take him so long there? Awkward animation, I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, third down and 10. Let me uh, slant Evan Ingram. Maybe him across the middle here. Oh, he's wide open. What a route by Evan Ingram. He's going to truck over a defender as well. Let's go. <sighs> what a pass there. Excellent throw. We're obviously going to go for this. Uh, but fourth down and seven. I call slants a lot, don't I? Let's go with four verts, I guess. See if maybe we can hit Evan Ingram here right after the snap. No, we really can't. Uh, Saquon, I'm going to pass it to, but that's not a first down. He's not even going to catch the pass. Also, I never really pointed this out, uh, but Kevin Zeitler has a torn labrum. Isn't that what Ryan Connolly suffered from? Um, also, I accidentally hit the middle button on the PS4, so we called a timeout. I don't really think I'm going to need the timeouts anyway. Just figured I'd point it out. That's going to be a first down and third down and 10. <laughs> oh my. Raheem Mostert, 20 for 208 and a touchdown. What is happening? Their run blocking is impeccable. We cannot get through. Right as I say that, though, we make a great play. Finally, someone gets back there. It's Kyler Fackrell on the edge. Okay, not a bad play by him. Let's see if we can at least get some guys some interceptions. Pad some stats, potentially. Lorenzo Carter, get your first pick here. It's not going to happen on that play, at least. It's going to be a very short completion. Jimmy Garoppolo, 21 of 26. 275 yards, four touchdowns. <laughs> Ridiculous game for him. 39, though. Jimmy G out of the shotgun. Raheem Mostert to his right. That's going to be a screen pass, actually. And Mostert has that for the first down. I did not realize that was a screen at all. I'm normally pretty decent at reading those, and I just completely overlooked that one. Well, there's another touchdown for Raheem Mostert. Oh my, dude. We're going to get 60 bombed. 55 to 21. Oh my gosh. This, is not a, this has been a nightmare of a game. We'll move on to next week. All right. We'll stomp that team, whoever it is. Whenever I play the 49ers again, I promise that I am going to stomp the ever-living crap out of them. Okay? That's going to happen. It won't. But, you know, maybe in my head. Okay. So now it is third down and three. Darius Slayton across the middle is definitely open. He's going to catch that. It was an awkward animation because it wasn't the best throw. Not really an awkward animation, I should say. Darius Slayton had to catch that in a pretty awkward way because of the throw. But at least the throw was there. All right. You know, at least it was in the same stadium as Darius Slayton, you know. <laughs> um, we're going to have Saquon, I think. Nope. That's an interception. We do not have Saquon at all. And we got 60 bombed. Oh my god. I'm so good at this game. This game is the best football game I have ever played. You know, uh, four and a half minutes left. Down 62 to 21. It's not over, boys. It's not over. Chucking it up to Darius Slayton. That's actually not Darius Slayton. My bad, but that's going to be caught. Let's go. 42-yard reception. I'll take it. What a play. Okay. First and 10 after that one. See what we can do. Saquon Barkley underneath is going to make that catch for the first down. Let's hurry up. Let me score another touchdown. Give me some reason 
to continue this series. No, I'm kidding. But Darius Slayton in the corner. The end zone's wide open. He's going to make that catch. What a throw. What a route. Darius Slayton is insane. Okay, so this total and absolute murder is finally over. We died. We're done. Completely dead. Not being revived. It's done, okay? Uh, the 49ers absolutely killed us. Was not even remotely close. But, you know, there are a couple positives, maybe. Let me see if I can find any. Uh, Josh Rosen was better than Daniel Jones, in my opinion. 13 for 22, 233 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. I definitely think he was better. Now, I don't know if he's going to play over Daniel Jones. I really don't. Danny Dimes threw four interceptions, one touchdown. Uh, not the strongest outing by good old Daniel. But I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what I should do. I know I'm asking you guys to comment a lot. Um, but if you made it this far in the video, I would love to hear your opinions on who I should start next week. Saquon, 25 for 121 and a touchdown. Perfectly fine game from him. Feel kind of bad for him. But that was kind of to be expected this season. I expected him to play really well, but the team not to. Uh, Sterling Shepard was good. 7 for 95 and a touchdown. Darius Slayton, 4 for 105 and a touchdown. Evan Ingram, 5 for 77 and that touchdown. Only one sack today. The offensive line actually was not that bad. Um, 11 total tackles for Blake Martinez. 4 tackles for loss. 1 sack. 1 pick from Jabril Peppers. That really led to nothing. Um, but yeah, this game is over. Very happy to get out of this one. <laughs> At least we have a good number of experience points to look forward to next time. And also, we can scout more next time. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let me see if I was supposed to talk about uh, George Kittle, and I actually wasn't, it looks like. I don't think there was really a prompt for me, so maybe I didn't forget. There just wasn't a prompt there to begin with, uh, but Kevin Zeitler is injured for five weeks. Dude, that's so unfortunate, man. He's out for, well, four weeks after we simulate, I think. I think it'll go down one, but let's advance by. We 49ers continue to be undefeated. We have to go up against the Rams, though, who are 0-3. So they're going to look for their first win. We're going to look for our second win. Uh, the Eagles are undefeated. Cowboys 2-1. and one, And the Washington football team still completely defeated. So it's not all bad, I guess. Anyway, though, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys were able to enjoy watching me absolutely struggle against the 49ers. It was bound to happen at some point. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is where every step you take is